Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, September 9th, 2017, and this video is a quick look at the earthquake statistics worldwide. Now, of course, some people are freaking out because of the huge earthquake that's just occurred in Mexico, and I suppose that combined with the hurricane or hurricanes that are occurring at the moment, and people are wondering what on the world is going on. Now, I've already covered about the hurricanes in my recent Hangout video, but just to sort of recap on that, what I said was, yes, the climate is changing because of global warming, and hurricanes and tornadoes are driven by heat. So as the climate changes, as the global temperature warms and the oceans warm, they will drive those hurricanes. They will become more extreme and more frequent, and that is exactly what we're seeing at the moment. Now, of course, hurricanes and tornadoes tend to happen in the warmer months, not in the colder months. They require a huge amount of energy to drive them, and that's exactly what we're seeing. The other thing that happens with warming, of course, is everybody knows heat causes evaporation. So the more heat you have, the more evaporation you have. And the more evaporation you have, the more moisture content you're going to have in the atmosphere. The more moisture content you've got in the atmosphere, the more precipitation or rainfall there's going to be. And of course with that is going to come increased flooding and landslips and extreme weather events related to that heavy rainfall. So back to the earthquake statistics. We're on the USGS website here looking at the earthquake statistics. Now on the screen here you can see the uh, statistics from the year 2000 through 2016 and on the very top line let me just scroll that back so we can see the details on the side there you can see magnitude 8 plus so they've broken them down into magnitude 5 to 5.9 6 to 6.9 7 to 7.9 magnitude 8 plus and we can see that from 2000 through to 2016 Usually there are one or two magnitude 8 earthquakes each year. In fact, we see in 2007 there were actually four magnitude 8 plus earthquakes that year. That was, of course, now 10 years ago. So the point being is that, yes, earthquakes happen. In fact, earthquakes happen every single day of every week of every month of every year. There's not a day that goes by where there is not an earthquake somewhere on this planet. In fact, there are numerous earthquakes every day. Now, a few years back, following the massive earthquake in Japan and tsunami, and there was a lot of discussion about the number of earthquakes that were going on and so on, I started recording the maximum magnitude for each earthquake each day worldwide. And then I took the average. So this is a daily average for the maximum magnitude. And what I found was that the daily average maximum magnitude, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, was approximately magnitude 6. In other words, just to recap on that, if you took the daily average of the maximum magnitude for each earthquake worldwide, the daily average was approximately magnitude 6. The other thing that I found when I was recording those details was that there was hardly a day that went by that did not see at least a magnitude 5.0. You could count on your fingers on one hand how many days there were that didn't see at least a magnitude 5. In other words, the maximum magnitude earthquake might have been 4.8 or 4.9, but didn't go over 5.0. That's very infrequent, so almost every day we see at least a magnitude 5.0 quake. And that is perfectly normal. People seem to forget that this planet is dynamic. It's always changing. And anybody who has an interest in geology, looking at the landscape, you look at the mountains and the valleys and the terrain and all of that, and of course that's all shaped by these natural forces that shape this Earth and have shaped this Earth forever. And uh, yes, earthquakes do change the, the terrain. Uh, sometimes you have massive upthrusts and faults and things. And, and this is what causes valleys and, and mountains and uh, shear faces and, and all that sort of thing. And of course the other thing is uh, volcanic activity. 
because not all mountains are caused by earthquakes, some of them are actually caused by volcanoes. Now here's another list of earthquakes in 2017 on Wikipedia because our list on the USGS site only went up to 2016. So let's compare this one and we can see the list of earthquakes worldwide and they show one in 2017. Now this is in fact the one that's just occurred in Mexico on September 8th 2017 and I can see that the figures here are being updated as information comes in. Um, because you've got the listing here by death toll and by magnitude and we can see that the current death toll is shown as 60. Now that has been a particularly nasty earthquake in Mexico and I fully expect that this death toll will probably increase as the rescuers discover more bodies sadly. So that was on September 8, 2016 and of course in last year 2016 we had the massive Kaikoura earthquake here in New Zealand. And what have we got? 2007 shows four, none in 2008, one in 2009, one in 2010, one in 2011, two in 2012, two in 2013, one in 2014, one in 2015, one in 2016, and one in 2017. And as they point out here, an increase in detected earthquake numbers does not necessarily represent an increase in earthquakes per se. Population increase, habitation spread, and advances in earthquake detection technology all contribute to higher earthquake numbers being recorded over time. So what this is saying is as our technology improves and as we spread out into areas that were previously uninhabited, we're monitoring more and more of the planet for earthquakes. So for example, back in 2011 when the huge earthquake hit Japan. I happened to be watching that unfolding live on television, which is amazing. And I watched the tsunami happening as it was all unfolding. And this is because of the increased technology that we have. Now, if it hadn't been for the live satellite feeds and cameras and news reporting and so on, I would have been completely unaware of that event unfolding in Japan. And a hundred years ago, for example, it would have taken us a lot longer to have become aware of such an earthquake in Japan and of course a lot of other earthquakes would have just gone undetected and unreported. In fact here in New Zealand which is an active fault zone and we get a lot of earthquakes here, a lot of the earthquakes that are detected by GeoNet here in New Zealand actually go unnoticed, unfelt by people because they are either very deep or further away down the country or whatever so you just can't rely on going to USGS or GeoNet or, or any other agency that monitors earthquakes and say, look, there's been 100 earthquakes this month because many of those earthquakes would actually go unfelt, but they were detected because of the monitoring equipment being used. And also in, in areas, for example, here in New Zealand, they've got seismographs up on Rao Island, which is way north of New Zealand and uh, there are earthquakes that, that would occur up there that the people here in New Zealand would have no idea about if, if it wasn't for the reporting. And in fact you're not even going to be aware of it unless you go to the website and look them up. So there we go, there's a quick look at the earthquakes magnitude 8 plus worldwide. Earthquakes happen and that's the point that people need to remember. Earthquakes happen every day and some are more powerful than others and yes, sometimes you will get earthquakes of magnitude 8 and above. And it seems that on average we see about 1 or 2 per year. And sometimes even 4, as in 2007. So I hope that helps clear that up. This is Dazza the Cameraman. Thank you for watching.